Next test is when they worship the golden calf. Moshe Rabbeinu is up at the mountain. He's getting the Torah. The only reason this world exists, the purpose of creation, is to get this Torah and fulfill it. Hashem created the Torah 974 generations before He created the world, which means that it was more important than mankind. If the Torah was not around, there would be no, no mankind. There's no point for mankind. And instead of being excited for this Torah, they make a mistake and go worship an idol. The Erev Rav worship an idol. The rest of Am Yisrael don't say anything. Hashem wants to destroy all of them. The ones that worship an idol and the ones that didn't say anything. Next test after the golden calf is when they rebelled against Hashem's mitzvot. This is an interesting one. We actually learned it recently, just in last week's parasha. In um, chapter 11, verse 1. Last week's parasha. The people took to seeking complaints. It was evil in the ears of Hashem, and Hashem heard, and His wrath flared, and the fire of Hashem burned against them, and it consumed them at the edge of the camp. Chazal tells us that over here, the complainers, the Erev Rav, again, fired again, and started creating nonsense to complain about. Wasn't any real reason to complain. So no, we don't have meat. What do you mean? You have millions and millions of cows. Go slaughter one, eat meat. Tavon, you know. Enjoy. You want chicken? You have a bunch of chickens. You want whatever you need, eat. But no, they're creating complaints. And their leaders don't say anything again, just like the time of the uh, golden calf. So what does Hashem do in last week's parasha? He burns all the leaders. Mm -hmm. Not all the people, all the leaders. Why? Because if the leaders are not going to rebuke the nation, they're worthless. If a rabbi is not going to tell people the truth, he's worthless. What's the point of learning Torah if you're not going to share it? Gemara in Masechet Abu Dazara says, someone that learns Torah without an intent, Attention to teach it, but it doesn't mean teach it just to say stories. Teach what he learned. Teach what Hashem said about Shabbat. Teach what it says about Nida. Teach what he said about Kosher. The real laws, not half the Torah. The whole thing is like someone who doesn't have a God. If you're learning Torah without a without a, a intention to teach it, you're the same thing as someone who doesn't have a God. Why? Because as we said, good has a need to create good. So if you're learning my Torah and you're not getting good out of it, then you're not learning my Torah. It's something else. It's not my Torah. It's, uh, for you, it's a history book. And the Zohar says, someone that thinks that the Torah, or even says that the Torah, intentionally says it, Torah is a history book, loses his right to live. He has no point of actually living. He has no right to live. Every second person in today's generation says it's a history book. Mm -hmm.